Hi guys, welcome to the instructions portion of the video. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I used PowerPoint um, very simply to create uh, this very um, uh, expressive digital photo uh, photograph uh, collage. Um, and um, it's a, a very straightforward, simple um, digital artwork and it fits into our self-portrait unit nicely uh, extending on the learning from our joiners project inspired by David Hockney. Now the first thing that you need to do of course was to take lots and lots of pictures of your face and head from different angles um, using different expressions um, depending on what your, uh, your theme or intention is in this artwork. Um, the theme uh, of my artwork was um, uh, the failed video chat. Um, so I chose lots of sort of squares and cubes and um, line patterns um, and took lots of pictures of myself from different angles um, uh, with sort of kind of like a squinty kind of uh, look on my face um, with my mouth closed, my mouth open like I was talking, this, this kind of thing. You guys have all had failed video conversations, I'm sure, and know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so the first thing I did was to um, set the, um, the page format to A4 so that when we print these, they will be in A4 portrait format so that they're all the same size and um, we can um, exhibit them in the school. Um, after I had set my formatting, I started with the first main image, um, which you can see I need to turn and set how I wanted it. Okay, now to add um, patterning, I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to try to have my hand not be in the video um, because it keeps doing that. So move it over here and um, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, the first way that I started to manipulate these photographs was by adding a pattern and to do that I go to this icon here which is the picture okay and I click on picture and it gives me an option of picture transparency and I am making that picture semi-transparent I don't want this one to be too transparent, but um, I put it up to about 28%. Now I'm going up to Crop, and Crop gives me an option to drop down and see Crop to Shape. Uh, crop to Shape allows me to, instead of just cropping as a square, I can crop in different shapes. Um, I've chosen this cube. Right, The cube makes the whole thing look like a 3D cube, of course. Okay, now that I've got that, the next function that I used mainly in this artwork is the fill and line. Fill and line, and it is this picture icon that looks like a little paint bucket. So I click on that, and it gives me several options. Um, the one that I chose is pattern fill. Now, there's different ones for uh, gradient colors, so like colors blending into others. Um, you can also choose um, a picture or texture, and the picture one is pretty interesting. Um, you can uh, maybe see here I chose a picture and then um, I chose uh, pictures from, from Canada where I am, and then you can sort of see that picture sort of peeking through and you can change the transparency of that as well. Okay, so if you wanted to do that, that could be very interesting to have different photographs of different places or, or any kind of images you want overlapping with yours. Um, now I decided instead of doing that, I wanted to do a pattern and I chose these line patterns. So it's pattern fill and then I, there's all these different options of different patterns, um, pretty simple ones, but, you know, polka dots and different kinds of lines. Um, 
Um, I chose these lines uh, mainly because it fit with my theme of the screen, but I was also wearing this striped shirt, and I thought it sort of unified uh, this image. Now, down at the bottom, sorry, move my fingers again, down towards the bottom of there, you can see foreground and background, and you can change the color of the lines in there, the color of the lines, or the color of the space between the lines. All right, so you can do that and play around with that quite a lot, and it's really uh, it's really fun, and there's a lot of uh, creative possibilities there. Um, okay, so what we've mainly used at this point is crop and cropping with shapes, adding fills, and you would, you can't see those pattern fills unless the picture is uh, transparent. So picture for transparency, crop to shape, and fill. Those are the main ones that we've used. Now, as I start to add more pictures, um, we get into um, some interesting, uh, interesting problems that are the next, the next thing that I'm going to show you. Okay, so this was a, uh, this is a picture that I'm making of me having a conversation, and because we want this to feel like it has movement and uh, uh, an element of time, like it's not just a still picture, but it's a picture, a lot of still pictures taken over time, uh, we can um, use our crop to shape to get it into the format that we want it, to remove um, extra parts of the picture that we don't need, and 